Hello everyone, this is Rebecca Smith with Spinatic. Spinatic.com is a web app for creating virtual tours. Today I would like to share some information as it relates to photoshopping the zenith, or the upshot, and the nadir, or the downshot, from your panoramic images using KR Pano. The zenith is typically an easy fix or won't need fixing at all based on how you have your camera set up and whether you are shooting inside or outside. The nadir is more problematic as oftentimes you may need to shoot on a busy oriental rug or a surface with intricate designs. It is always a good idea to look at your downshot choices prior to shooting your image with that in mind. On my scene you will see a series of images. I actually have eight with this sample as it was shot on a pole outside typically requiring you to capture some extra images to ensure that you get the entire 360 degree view. We are going to take our TIFF which was stitched and processed with PT GUI and we are going to move that TIFF into our Pano tools and we are going to convert that from sphere to cubes. We want to change this to cube so that we can take these into Photoshop individually and Photoshop out any obstructions with our images. Again, typically the nadir. Once this is finished, we will end up with cubes and I will show you momentarily what we do with those. Now here you'll see that we have the cube images. Here's the down shot and the up shot, which many people just correct those. But there are times that something may get stitched in with another image, so to be safe, I always check each of them to make sure there's no obstructions, which will make the work more efficient in the end. So we'll open up Photoshop, we'll open our images, again selecting the cubed images. And here's our zenith, which you can see is free from any obstructions. And again, it's outside, it's a tall space, and usually that will take care of the upshot. But there are times that you may need to make a slight correction um, with your outside shots. So we will X out of that, and we're going to just quickly go through these other shots again, just to be sure that nothing has been stitched into these. Now here's our down shot or our nadir and this is where the tripod was so we need to correct this. This one is a fairly easy one because it was set up on grass. I will take my eraser in Photoshop and we are just going to correct this by using the eraser tool to get that out of the image. I'll select a little bit of a pattern here to work on the tripod. And again, you may have um, other ways that you do this that are easier or something that you're used to. If this was more intricate, I may grab my rectangle tool and use my control J and control T, which basically the J lets you duplicate the layer and the T gives you the advantage of free transformation. But this um, really, as I said again, I use more if I'm trying to go in and fix something that has a little bit more of a challenge to it. So we will get out of this and we're going to save this image now because we have made corrections to it. And then we have our last image again which is free of obstruction so we can now minimize Photoshop and go back to our um, images. So now we have our, our zenith and our nadir uh, corrected where necessary. We're going to once again select our cubed images and now we are going to put them back in the KR Pano droplet to change the cubes back into a sphere. Okay, so now we have our cubed images which we don't need anymore, so we will delete those. And we're going to use one other function in KR Pano just to check our stitching and our work that we've done in Photoshop. 
So if you go to the droplet and you drop this into make virtual or V2 or normal, you're going to see over here that a virtual tour folder opens up where you can go in and check out your image to make sure that it's in good shape. So we'll give that just a minute to finish. Okay, so now we can open this folder and we can go to the, the tour editor HTML. Okay, and here you will see, let me bring this into our screenshot here, our tour, and we're going to just spin around here to make sure that our stitching with PT GUI is nice and smooth, and that seems to be fine, and we will look at our zenith, or our upshot, and that's fine. Check our downshot, which is the nadir, and that looks good as well. So at this point, this is how you use KR Pano to take your spherical image and convert it to cubes so that you can clean up any corrections that are needed using Photoshop. Once this is complete, you can save your TIFF into a JPEG and upload it into Sp Spinanic and begin building your virtual tour. I hope this information was helpful. If you have not already done so, log in to spinatic.com, create an account, it's free to do so, and reach out to us on our site if you have any questions and or suggestions for Spinatic. Watch for our customizer in the near future, and thank you for watching.